What's going on today, everyone? This is Mike the How To Guy. I'm currently in the process of removing a carpet on a 2000 Ford Ranger. Uh, this one is an extended cab. Looks like it has the suicide doors in the back. Anyhow, just a quick tip for you. It'll be kind of a short video today. Uh, how to remove this center console. It's actually just a cup holder. Eh. And this should apply to most of your uh, 2000 and two, to 2004 Ford Rangers. So I was like anyone else, uh, kind of tugged on it. You can see it's kind of loose. Not much holding it, didn't seem like. But after doing some digging, this thing is nasty. This guy works out of this thing. He just recently bought it and uh, we tried cleaning the seats. I think he's going to go with seat covers and like I said we're installing this new carpet. Um, anyhow, down in here, take a regular little flathead screwdriver and down here on the bottom there's a rubber pad. I can pull that rubber pad back. Yep. Sticker. Take a screwdriver. Click. Pull the tab out. This one's. Oh, this is so gross. And this one actually doesn't have the rubber piece. So this is going to make the carpet even worse. Ooh. So bad. I guess I'll clean this for him before I give it back to him. Anyhow, that should be it. And that is it. And then you've got this little plate. Uh, it looks like four screws, Phillips head screws, uh, that holds it down. What is this? A restraints control module. Huh. Okay. So anyhow, if you have to replace the carpet on these, it's just removing the kick panel on both sides. Remove the running panel down each side of the doors. Uh, this truck did have the rumble seats in the back, or the flip down seats. Uh, they got three bolts on each side. Once again, remove this runner piece here. And then uh, remove your seats. Uh, there will be a little connector down. I believe that's for the sensors in the seat to tell you if you've got your seat bound on or not. And that's basically it. Just remove the carpet. Uh, he looks like he got this carpet here from Auto Custom Carpets. Yep, that's it. Let's see if I can spin around so you get the name here. Auto Custom Carpets. And it's really actually a really, really nice, really nice carpet. So we're fixing to put this in. I did notice too, it does have the padding and some sound editing material built into the carpet. It's supposed to be pre-cut. So, but anyhow, that was just a quick tip for you guys today. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, leave them, like the video, share it. And uh, hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Thanks for watching.